Hello Halo fans and welcome back to Halo Legacy and today I thought I'd do a quick little unboxing slash review on the Halo Legendary Crate or the C Halo Legendary Crate Season 2 uh, Second Crate. This one is all about the flood. This one is flood themed. Now sadly I did uh, I did open this up a little bit and uh, take uh, took out uh, some of the stuff inside. That's why I call this re unboxing slash review. So I apologize for that, but I was a little bit excited. Uh, and sorry if the camera seems a bit shaky. My tripod, I have no idea where it's at. So I'm going to just have to deal with this for now. Um, and then I'll work on getting everything situated for the next crate. So I'd like to start doing more of these, unboxing more of these. I love unboxing stuff, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, let's just crack right into it. Also, pretty sizable crate. So you've got your Intel here that you get with every crate. Let's uh, I crack this open again. Yeah, I saw a little bit of this. I didn't read all of it. So, you can pause and read, if you want to read that one. And they're all in order, I didn't move these out of order or anything, so. Just pause and read that. I'll read all this stuff on my own time. And here's here's the, uh, the, the interesting, I always like when they include like visual stuff like this. Uh, this is a profile of a San Shayum. I really hope I pronounced that right. Uh, at first I thought this was the Prophet of Mercy, but I was wrong because uh, Prophet of Mercy was the one that uh, was getting nommed on by the Flood in Halo 2. But it is not. It is Alo Sabuka? I probably totally butchered that. Yeah, but there's his profile and everything you think. That's cool. Uh, they include his like his blood type, his district and province, his role. That's really cool. This is a pretty detailed uh, profile. Just getting all the details in. Uh, nothing on the back. It's blank. But it'd be a really cool like poster, right? I could see somebody framing this. This would look really cool on a frame. And then uh, we'll take out, actually let's take a first a quick look at the t-shirt because I think this one's really funny, really cool. Spartan Exterminators. So if you've ever, uh, if you play a lot of Infection, of course you can get the Extermination Medal. Spartan Exterminators. Actually no, you can get the Extermination I think. Yeah, regular. Isn't that the one that if you wipe out, uh, the entire or the whole enemy team in like in one go like if you get an overkill on a 4v4 match get an extermination i think that's right i could be wrong i haven't gotten one in a while <laughs> but uh this is really cool and you got like the little floody the little squirmy the flood spore griff ball or griff ball, gravity hammer really cool cute and cartoony i like it and then oh, okay we'll get on to uh uh, well, actually, actually, let's do the poster first. Let's do the poster first. We won't look at the back because I want because there is actually one item that I have not opened up yet. I'll do this with my leg here as best I can with one hand. So I actually did take a quick peek at this poster too, um, and it is really, really cool. I'll say that much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And let's see if we can scrunch this out. Okay. That's kind of the best I can get it for right now. But we've, uh, we've got, this is Halo Wars 2, which is really cool. Uh, I haven't played Awakening the Nightmare yet. I just haven't found the time. You know, uh... With all the new games releasing and, and college and stuff, I haven't gotten around to uh, to playing it yet. That's why I've been avoiding flood videos and stuff. Uh, 
to uh, the void spoilers. It's really nice. It's really nice. Look at how detailed that is. Oh, that's a gorgeous poster. It's a gorgeous poster. Okay, now we'll get on to the icons. And this one is, like, surprisingly big. I did not expect that to be, like, such a huge figure. Let's get it open. Actually, I really like this one. When I first saw the the screenshot of it on Twitter and on a, from the email I was sent by Loot Crate, I it wasn't a huge fan. I thought it looked a little bit too cartoony. I thought it looked a little bit too uh, too plasticky. But you know, I kind of like it. I'm liking it. I'm liking all the the painted detail and the face and stuff there. It looks nice. It looks nice. It's a pretty big one too. It's a pretty big uh, icons figure. I like it. And then we'll pull out the stand, and the stand is essentially the same as the last one with Cortana. It's just not a. Uh, there's no AI base to it, so. There's, uh, so we'll just pull this out. Yeah, pretty basic. Looks nice though. I'm I'm digging the uh, the series two stands. I'm digging them. I like them. I think they look uh, a lot more clean, and they don't take up as much space as the series one 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 uh, stands do. I gotta line up the peg. There we go. Now he does come with a little extra flood spore. Look at him. I call these squirmies. Don't judge me. I call them squirmies. Camera will focus. Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. It's pretty detailed too. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at the color. Look at the the uh, the wash on them. That looks really nice. Wow. I'm impressed. Look at the bottom real fast. Now he doesn't have any peg holes or anything. He doesn't peg into uh, the icons figure. He's just kind of a nice little extra. I guess you can place him down here by him or wherever you'd like. Very nice figure. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. This one's actually, this is probably going to be my favorite, my new favorite crate. Uh, probably the, my last favorite one was probably the, uh, probably the, the, the Reach one. I really liked that one just because I have a lot of nostalgia for Halo Reach. Um, and then we'll get on to this bit. We'll save this one, this little guy for last. Uh, yeah, but I really liked the the Reach crate. I have a lot of nostalgia for for Halo Reach. Um, and but of course, like the new, like the last one was really good. The Halo Four one with Cortana. I I used the uh, actually I used the um, the shaving kit in there. <laughs> I was actually funny enough the night before. I was like, man, I really I try, you know I'm traveling a lot. I really need to get. A shaving kit and then I get home from uh, from PAX and then the crates are there and then I open it up and I have a shaving kit and I'm like wow that's awesome what a coincidence I really uh, I was actually looking at this so I use that and uh, I really like the the new series of pins they're really awesome so uh, there's that oh 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 these are so cool so here I'll, I'll let you guys take a look at the little slip cover that's on this first. Focus. Is this the best I'm gonna get? This is the best I'm gonna get. Not that much on the back. Oh, the front. Yeah, really cool. Oh, those look so badass. Look at that. Oh shit. <laughs> look at these. They're pens. Oh, that's so awesome. See, I always love, like, when I can get, like, uh, gaming and, like, and gaming nerd merch that I can actually use, you know, going to college. Uh, I find I like using pens a bit more than uh, pencils. They're easier for me to write with, but... Oh, shit. I saw, okay, if this is... Okay, I gotta find something to write on. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just gonna... If, if this is... If this is... Hold on. 
A little, little tip. Yep. There we go. If this is what I think it is. Come on. It's still on there? Ah, I get that little, uh, that little jelly tip off. There we go. Got it. Okay. Oh shit! That's awesome! It's actually pink! That's really cool! That's awesome! Here, I'll get the other one here just because I dropped it. Oops, clumsy. Ah, but the, oh my god. These are gorgeous. I think these are one of my favorites. I think this is one of my favorite things out of the legendary crates. Like it's probably out of like out of all the stuff I've gotten in the legendary crates, I think this is one of my top five favorite things. Along with like the jacket and the little backpack and the uh, the Mr. Chief plush from the first one. Those are like my three favorites. And then like the uh, Although, probably the hunter uh, icons. Yeah, these are these are so nice. These are so nice. Actually, actually, I won't count the Halo bag. I think I'll go with that icons, and then I think I think this next thing coming up uh, will be my favorite. But these are really awesome. Oh my god! What you get here? Take. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, these are these are so nice. Little needler shards. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Awesome. Let's see if I can get this back in the box without destroying the box. Okay. I'll put this to the side. And then actually, here's the Here's the pins. We did get the gold pin this uh, this crate. Awesome. And these, I gotta say, these new Series 2 pins are looking nice. These are way, way better than the first uh, series. The pins feel way higher quality. They look nicer. I like how they're like more of a shiny gold than the matte gold that we got in the first bit, in the first series. that that is gorgeous I gotta say I really love it I wonder this makes me think I wonder if all of the pins are gonna be weapons then because the last one was an assault rifle and this one is a shotgun and you know the weapons seem to work really well with like the new silver and uh, gold uh, paint that they're using so I wonder if uh, if they're just gonna going to use solely weapons for these pins. I don't know. We'll have to uh, check the next crate, which by the way, they just revealed the um, the, the icons figure that's going to be in the next crate. And the next crate is, is uh, themed after Halo, after Halo 3. The next Halo icons figure is Master Chief uh, kind of doing almost the Starry Night pose from, you know, from the Starry Night trailer where he throws like the bubble shield down and it's in it, um, right when it like Right when it breaks apart and he's kind of sprinting and he's like that half sprint, that's kind of the pose. He's got like a little magnum in his hand and like the, the part of the bubble shield that's still up has like needler shards in it. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. You have to go check it out if you haven't. So, oh, I'm so excited for this one. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Where do I, where do I open this? Where do I open this? Oh, forgive me. Forgive me. No tripod. Oh, oh no. Oh, and this is not the easiest to open, is it? Oh no, forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bad camera angles, camera shaking. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. I promise you it'll be better. Next crate. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so look at this. We got a little uh, Flood Spore plushie. Look at him. He's so cute. He looks at. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. Wait. Wait, if he makes like sounds and stuff, I'm gonna be so happy. <sighs> why is this? Why is this here? It's kind of a thing. I don't think he makes sounds. I'm a little upset. So he's so cute. Look at the uh. <sighs> he's soft. He's really soft. Really squishy. 
kind of tried their best at in bits of detail in there into the uh, into the cloth looks pretty nice he's got you know his little little squirmy tendrils and leg thingums these are uh, this is not my favorite material ever on a plush I'll be honest and I do love me plushies not my favorite but this is just so cute and squishy that I'm okay with this and then he's got this little velcro thing that straps to him I don't know what's that what that's for maybe if you want to like strap them to, to places I don't know but there doesn't seem he's got anything inside him or or any uh, any slot for batteries or anything but yeah so I've actually I've got here too <laughs> I've got a couple things that we can look at before we end this off. I've got a couple more things. So I just got um, this in the mail today, which is a new, or not new, it's new for me, but th these have been around for a while. Uh, Halo 3 wristband. This is pretty cool. I actually have one. I got this. I actually have this one. Same one. I got a separate one for the other wrist. I really like these. I actually had this exact pair of these in ninth grade. Uh, um, I just started college this year, so about four years. So it's nice to have another set again. I really like these. And then we'll take another look at this. If you didn't go to PAX West this year, uh, Loot Crate was selling these. They had a limited number of these. They did completely sell out of them. These little Master Chief Penny Arcade pins. But really cool. I bought two because you, you could get a max of two in the edition. So I got one to put on my lanyard and one for display slash to keep as a backup. So there you go. So yeah, that was a really awesome crate. I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of really cool stuff in, in this. Oh, the pens, the pens are so cool. Oh my God. Oh, I spent a lot of time on these. Oh, I love them, I love them. I got this. Bring in the, oh, new flood spore fell off. No, no, there we go, there we go. No! Stop it! Eh. Eh. Fuck. There we go. So there's a lot of really cool stuff. The poster is really nice. Let's actually see. I'm gonna take a look and see what uh, what download we get for this. Probably just a ten lucky winners gonna. Wait, what? What? Okay, no, never mind. Okay, I thought this was a code for the complete edition of Halo Wars 2, and I was about to freak the hell out, but it's not. This is just, you can get this if you get the Mythic Crate. So, 10 lucky winners get Halo Wars 2 complete edition with the Mythic Crate. Is that it? Is that all you get in the Mythic Crate? That'd be really upsetting if that's all. That would, that would be really upsetting if that's it. Uh, for the mythic crate but then yeah you do get a rec pack which you know what I don't even need this I don't even need a rec pack I have everything so go ahead and take that I, don't care. I, I already have all the items in warzone I already have all the armors and everything I don't need them some interesting intel I will take the time to read this on my own but overall it was a really nice crate it was really cool we got a lot of good stuff this crate uh, join back with me in December for the Halo 3 crate around Christmas time. That'll be nice. So uh, check in then. See you guys later.